I've got the power washer out. And all I'm doing for right now is just going through and just scrubbing down what I can. Oh, see, it's in the center. It went to the center there, see? So, I'm gonna go get it like that. There we go. All right, I got it up pretty high. Only dude here. So this weekend is our third annual car show and I always enter Big Blue in and this year I have the truck camper so I'm gonna put that on the truck as well. All proceeds that we make off of this help our teenagers at our church go to, to summer camp. So we're looking forward to that. Unfortunately, the forecast right now is calling for rain, so that is a little bit disappointing. But hey, our Lord is good. He could change all that. He's in control of all things. So today is Thursday. I've got two days to get this thing power washed down and then get the camper loaded. Honestly, I have only a couple hours to get any all this stuff done so this is what I've done so far so I pulled it out and uh, I've got the power washer out and all I'm doing for right now is just going through and just scrubbing down what I can the roof with this uh, shine juice I use from vice grip garage uh, if it sits if it sits for too long like in the garage it starts to get a little bit moldy because it's got you know minerals and things in it so it does mold over time nothing major just just a little bit of mold so right now i'm just power washing it down i gotta get the top side of it and then i gotta go over here and i gotta get this uh camper raised up so that i can back it up underneath there before it gets dark and the sun is already starting to make its way down up here I don't know if you can see this or not but more towards the front up there you can see that mold that I was talking about you can see where I ran my finger across it right right there that's uh that's not just dust there is some mold um that's just from the and you can see these spotting and stuff like that that's just from the shine juice that I was using from Vice Grip Garage now I'm in no way like saying don't use it because this is what it does. I just let it sit for too long and not have reapplied it and that's why it happened. I'm just, I'm lazy. I didn't have time to take care of it. So I just threw it in the garage where it was protected and it just sat there and with the moisture and all that, that's just what it does. That product that you get from Derek is fantastic. So that's a plug in again for for Derek and Vice Grip Garage because I truly love this stuff. I mean, this truck has not been repainted, nothing. You can look at earlier videos I have. That stuff works fantastic. So anyways, enough on that. I'm gonna get back on here and start uh, getting a little more cleaning done. go I've done everything I'm gonna do tonight uh, I wish I had time to put shine juice and stuff on it but I I just don't have the time and not only that it's supposed to rain the next couple days and once I get that camper on there obviously it's not going back in the garage so it's gonna end up sitting out here getting wet and all that anyways so kind of the same reason like what was the point of washing off the top and the back because it's gonna be covered but it's all right. I just like to do it all. Same thing with the tailgate. I got to get that taken off here shortly so it can get slid in. But I got to get this power washer put away and then start working on jacking this thing up. So 
Got to get to it. All right. I got to get this thing jacked up now. I don't know if I've guys showed you this or not, but like the guy that I bought this from had built a drill bed that I that you can use and a drill that goes fits right inside of this. And uh, you have to make sure whatever direction you're going that it's turning that this thing is lined up because if it gets caught in here or anywhere else, it will slap you like crazy. And you push it forward and then it just starts lifting it up. Well, oh, hasn't been used in a little while. Oh, see, it's in the center. It went to the center there, see? So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get it like that. There we go. And then, it went back to the center again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Ah, come on. What is your problem? This is, maybe it's this way. Ah, it helps if I go the right direction. Goodness gracious. I'm tired. This is nuts. But you'll see down here. It's to the left. And I want to get over there. You'll see where I've lifted it off the ground about that much. That's about what I want to do. Is I want to go all the way around lifting them all off the ground by that much. And then at first I'm going to get high enough and I got to get all these bricks and everything out from underneath it and the boards and the garbage cans moved. I got to unplug it. But once I get this thing up off of there, I can get those boards and everything off and get it set up in the truck. And, uh, and then ideally here, probably within an hour, it's going to take probably an hour. I'll have this jacked up high enough where I could get, uh, the truck slid right up underneath it. So I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with every mo movement I make going around in circles. So this will probably be in a time lapse as well. Okay, everything's done underneath there, all clear. Now here's all the boards and stuff to uh, put in the back of the truck. So I figured I'll show you how that is done. And I have this because The uh, pad over will actually touch the roof if I don't put something. If I just slid this in the way it was, it would hit the top of the, of the roof of the truck. So I need extra space to achieve that. Um, now, that's, these are my spacers. These aren't exactly where they need to be. At least now I gotta go find them. But I got a couple screws attached right here to these two boards, and it keeps it from moving that way. Then I throw the part or the uh, plywood on, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go find the, the screws. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find the, the nails, so I had to just get the, or the screws. I'm just gonna have to use the nails. No biggie. Well, I'm already there. All I gotta do is line this up right direction just put the nails on I guess that works perfect hey hey 
can't come loose. Then I don't have to worry about it anyways. It works just fine. Alright. Now we're going to slide this on. Yes, this would be a lot easier with two people, but so you can definitely do it with one. Slide it in. Like that. And then once the camper sits down on it, it ain't going anywhere. That's it. So that's it for this this portion. Now I gotta get back to raising this thing up as high as I can get so that we can uh, get it loaded on. I got it up pretty high. Uh, I don't know about this end. I'm trying to keep this thing as level as I can. You can see the level right there. It's pretty close. I don't know about the other side. This side here, it's tilted a little bit, but it's uh, it's gonna be the way it is. And, uh, and of course this side, it's tilted just back just a little bit. But yeah, I think it's plenty high now where I think I can get this thing backed up underneath here. Once I get this thing up over the hill, is the, the tires right there, the tires up here are actually uh, sitting down lower than the front. So I think once I get up, it might even be a little flatter, but I gotta get it straightened up a little bit more. And it looks like I have plenty of room on this side to, to try to make that happen. So let's, let's go try.
right. Well, I'm having a hard time getting the uh, this thing lined up just right, but I need to get the back end up higher anyway, so I'm also just work on that. Okay, now I got plenty of height. So now I just need to work on getting this thing straight. After several attempts as you can see I got it on there and uh, now I just got to get it lowered onto the truck and get it strapped down and you'll see here you'll see the gap right in there where it's gonna come down and then over here the gap is a little a little tighter but it is not too bad took some time but uh i got it on there so now just got to get it lowered and strapped down on now I just got to strap it down I wish I had uh, some other way of strapping this down to the truck I hate using the straps but it is what it is the only other concern I have is back in here these I don't know if you see them or not there's these bushings back in here it's gonna be like this try it that way turn the camera around the other way see how they're they're just kind of sitting on the truck right there like right, right there, that's how they're sitting. And they should have been up a little bit more. So that side you see a little bit better is kind of sitting on the thing. I don't know, maybe it'll shift. I think what I'll do is I'll put the straps on in the back just to make sure it don't slide off. But maybe even I just pull forward a little bit, it'll just boom, flop down, I don't know. Okay, that's it. I am done. It is uh, wiped down and clean, and uh, I got all the uh, straps on. So it is strapped down. I'm just gonna plug it in and uh, call it a night. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because I will have a video of the car show. And this year it's going to be a lot of fun because I've got the drones, so I'll be able to get some aerial views of, of uh, the cars and everything. And I'm really hoping and praying we, we dodged a bullet on the rain. I know right now the forecast is already calling for it, so it's, it's bad news on car shows for if you got rain. But, hey, our God is good. He can do anything. So, again, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're starting to really climb this mountain on getting more subscribers, and I really appreciate those that that tune in and watch it. Thank you for the support. Also, make sure you hit the like button so that we know that you enjoy these videos and want me to produce more of them. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified of any other new videos that I, that I upload. So that's it. We'll catch you probably uh, on the car show video.